Well, Ross, Stephen Davis will become the most capped British men's player of all time with 126 caps. Can you put that achievement into perspective, please? Firstly, what an achievement. Um, I think everybody here at Rangers is immensely proud of Stephen. Um, I feel uh, privileged to have worked with Stephen over the last uh, six or seven seasons, actually, between Southampton and Rangers. Um, and it's, a, it's just a fantastic achievement. Obviously, he becomes the most capped British player of all time, overtaking Peter Shelton's record uh, with a 126 cap. I know it's something that's probably been on the horizon for a while for Stephen, uh, and I'm sure for him it's something that he's immensely proud of, and so he should be, uh, as will his family. I know he's supported brilliantly by his, by his wife, by his kids, and by his family back home in, in Northern Ireland as well. So it's a great time for him, a great time for his family, but, but also for Rangers it's a huge honour for, for us that, that one of our players, Stephen of course in his second spell here, over 300 games, nine trophies here as a Rangers player now as well, uh, to be the British uh, record cap holder is a fantastic achievement for Stephen, but something that we at Rangers need to be immensely proud of as well. You know him from both Southampton and now from Rangers, as you say. Give us an insight into his character. What's he like around the place? He's an immaculate professional. Um, I think everybody that everybody that I know that's came into contact with Stephen, both on the south coast with, with the Saints and then up here, up here in Glasgow, everybody that works with him can see how strong a professional he is, um, how strong a character he is. Uh, how, how immaculate he is in his work day in, day out. The example that he sets to others, um, both in the first team context and uh, the young players coming behind him, he's somebody that's always on hand uh, to young players to give them some advice. But he's definitely a role model in my eyes that people can look up to. Again, whether you're a young player or, or a player that's further along in your career, um, the way he lives his life, the way that he prepares uh, away, from the, away from the training ground every day as well. And he's certainly a player that is always ready. Uh, and I think we can see that how fit he is for, for, for the age he is already. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. Uh, and the performances that he's turned out for Rangers this year um, and helping us win title number 55 here as well has been really, really important for us. Not only um, in the match days at Ibrox and away from home, but the standards that he sets here day in, day out. And I know he's someone that Stephen Gerrard and the coaching team look on with great affection because of what he gives us as a club every single day. Very clear what it means to him to represent Rangers, but from your understanding, what does it mean to, to Stephen to represent Northern Ireland? He's immensely proud of that. Um, I've, I've always been aware of that throughout my time working with Stephen, that he's a, he's a proud Northern Irishman. Um, he's equally proud, I think, to, to play for Rangers, and, and the, the, second, the second time coming back here was something that was really important to him. Um, I saw that myself when he, was, when he was leaving Southampton to come back to Glasgow, how happy and proud he was to be making that journey back again um, at this stage of his career. But there's no, there's no question that playing for Northern Ireland is something that's always been very, very important to him, something he's always been really, really proud to do. Uh, and I know that breaking this record um, for, for, for the, the British record is just, just fantastic for him and something that I know that will, be, will make him immensely proud and his family immensely proud. From a, a Rangers perspective, how important was it to get him tied down for another year's contract? And for all the reasons I said before, so first and foremost, his, his uh, performances on the pitch have been excellent. Um, but what he gives us here day in, day out, the example he sets to young players, he's somebody that we definitely didn't want going out of this club at this stage. Um, everything that he brings us all the time, day in, day out, is, is, is first class. He's an immaculate professional, somebody that everybody here can look up to. I mentioned already he's, he's won nine trophies here as a Rangers player. We want this to be a winning club. Um, he's helped us deliver um, the title here in recent weeks and we want players to look up to players like him that can help us win moving forward as well. He knows what that's about, he knows what representing this club's all about, uh, and we certainly wanted him as part of our journey moving forward. And as well as Stephen, what does it mean to the club to have so many players away on international duty playing in some really top matches? Yeah, I think it's great, great experiences for the players. Obviously, we track and monitor the players uh, all the time when they're away on international duty. We've saw some excellent performances for some of our international players in this time. It's great for the calibre of our squad that players are representing their countries on the international stage in some fantastic games albeit most of them, the majority of them, without crowds at this moment in time, which continues to frustrate all of us, uh, probably no more so than the fans who want, want to be at these games. But from our point of view, it's great to have a squad of players that are playing on the international stage during during these international breaks. And uh, long may that continue. And uh, the more, more players that's doing that, the better for us.